Okay, so today we're going to be looking at sound design for UK bass, bassline music, um, tracks within that genre. Um, so we're going to be exploring um, today, we're going to look at um, using X for Serum, it's a fantastic synth. Um, and there's so many varieties, uh, sorry, so many possibilities within Serum. So the two um, methods of synthesis we're going to look at today is a standard wavetable synthesis within Serum, where we can combine um, wavetables from oscillator A and B, to create a, an interesting variety of sounds. I'm going to look at um, frequency modulation synthesis whereby we can use the uh, waveform loaded into oscillator B or the sub oscillator to modulate the frequency of oscillator A which can result in some nice harmonic um, artifacts. It can get too much but we'll touch on this later on. So what we're going to do, um, the classic way of synthesizing a bass sound for um, sort of UK bass and bass line, you'd go two octaves down and you'd use uh, just a square wave. Um, so we'll do that by loading that into a low pass filter um, with a fairly high resonance. Um, I'll just start by mentioning as well, I always split my bass, which is like a mid range bass, ta bass tone, uh, with a sub bass and that allows me to control the low end a bit more when it comes to mixing. So as you can see, the serum on channel 5 there will be the main mid-range bass, and the serum number 2 there will be a sub. So, if I just solo this, you can hear now it's... It's just a bit boring. Um, so, you normally get the warp by assigning an envelope to the cutoff of the low-pass filter. Um, so, this is set to a quarter rate, and we'll set it to either trigger or envelope mode, it doesn't matter. Uh, the note will just restart the LFO as the envelope will just trigger it once and it's set to a quarter note so it's um, tempo synced effectively and that gives us this sort of sound. Now I'll, th there's a classic old school speed garage 4x4 bass line sound from like 2007-2008, not the most useful now of course, um, music changes, times change. So what uh, you can find yourself doing um, this is all experimental by the way. Um, I would urge anybody to design their own method of creating these sounds. Um, so what you can do, you can use a variety of filters within Serum. Uh, the reverb filter can be quite nice if a little bit unpredictable. Um, so you can use that and the sounds you can get out of this are just incredible and can be ridiculous at times. <laughs> So yeah, it can get a bit too much. <laughs> so um, I find the formant filters can work quite well on this sort of sound. So you can pick any of these. Um, you can hear straight away it brings in formants into the sound, and you can automate the cut off it again. Choose a form which sounds good to you and just modulate, automate everything, anything you can. Um, you may find that you want to beef up with a bit of distortion. So that's not so bad. Now, I mentioned I split my bass into like a mid range bass and a sub. So I'll always find myself cutting out everything below sort of 105, 112 hertz on here, um, just to make sure there's nothing colliding with the kick or the sub. So that sounds alright. So to design the sub, um, generally speaking I'll use a sine wave, same octave, I'll set the level of it to be controlled by this LFO, do that. Now then you've got a basic sub, uh, sub bass. Uh, shout out to trigger mode as well. But it's just missing a bit of beef, so set your distortion, tube distortion, maybe around 90%, if not more, and then filter out the very top harmonics. It just sounds beefier. And when you use this in conjunction with the main bass, 
we can get some really quite gnarly, interesting sounds. So from here, just just experiment. Um, you can literally. <laughs> that sounds a little bit silly. Um, so you can control the level of this with the same envelope and bring oscillators in. Which let's just pick a completely random one. Uh, no, nah, I don't like the look of them. Let's bring in, say, Squelch FM one. Um, so we can get some real filthy, gnarly sounds out of this, and just cycle through and see what you like. Find your own style, um, and once you're comfortable doing things like this, you can start to use different shapes to form the fundamental sound so you can use a triangle wave or a saw wave or a ramp anything it just depends what sort of a tone you're after and they'll all affect the sound in different ways so experiment um, it might sound like a cop-out thing because this is a tutorial but literally you can mess with this fat controller here and change your resonance values change your drive on your filter really see what you can do mess with putting some portamento on there um, just explore the possibilities so that could sound quite nice um, and that's a fairly modern baseline sound so the other method of synthesis that I was explaining earlier was frequency modulation so I find I'll always use um, sine waves as the frequency sorry as the oscillator to be modulated so if I set that to a sine wave there I can then use this oscillator now I'll, I'll normally turn this down um, and just so you can hear the effect that it has nice and easy I'll just set a sine wave two octaves above um, oscillator A now I will set this the warp mode of oscillator A to be controlled by frequency modulation from oscillator B so I'll do that and then control that using LFO1 now you probably don't want to go to anything over 50% because that starts to introduce in harmonics which sound really naff and really horrible and quite metallic and brash um, I wouldn't recommend that but again it's something that you might want to experiment with um, so this is what this sounds like with a frequency modulation and you can take this up octaves so you might have heard a sound somewhat similar to this in like UK bass music again we'll high pass filler that out it's not something that's too uncommon to hear that sort of a synth and again you can experiment with this with filters you can use um, again format filters and get creative with it it really that the possibilities are endless with this so if you start introducing harmonics you can hear things start to sound grotty and if I was to say sample this sorry use this with a square wave to do the frequency modulation you'll hear it's not very pleasant at all, it sounds quite distorted, quite inharmonic so ideally you want something with as few harmonics as possible that's why a sine wave is perfect really because it's got no extra harmonic content so you can modulate this sine wave with anything really so again we'll just pick a completely random um, wave table, Evol Long Reefs uh, Let's see how this sounds. And just by cycling through the wavetables there, you can really hear there's sonic differences on everything and some of them are quite pleasant, some of them are quite nice. I'd be quite happy with that as a as a UK bass or baseline patch, as is. It's quite gnarly, it's quite filthy, and again you can mess with distortion and bring in distortion characteristics if you want but you're going to want to be careful doing things like that and again format filters it 
It all sounds nice and maybe a bit of a high boost there. All of this is nice. Um, so all I can say is experiment um, with using these different filters in Serum. Use different combinations of filters. Uh, don't be scared to low pass something then run it through a format filter or the reverb filter or any of these French and German LP filters, anything really, even the sample and hold things which mimic the sample and hold insert in Massive which you may be familiar with from before if you've used Massive before. But just experiment, modulate anything and everything, modulate your wavetable positions, modulate the amount of frequency modulation on things, bring in noise oscillators, even sub oscillators, I mean a, a nice triangle wave might sound nice on the top of that for example, if I turn the level of that up and bring in quite a high octave. It don't sound unpleasant. So I can't put you off using things like this, um, methods like this. Uh, it all works really nicely for me and I find all this works in my tracks. Um, but I just urge you to develop your own style. Run it through plug-in chains on your inserts. Uh, use saturation, tube satura saturation, distortion, different amounts of reverb, EQ stuff and just really experiment and find your own style. Uh, but I'm hoping there you've got a few uh, tips and ideas and a fundamental understanding of how to synthesize for uh, UK bass music and bass line. Uh, so if you've liked this tutorial, um, feel free to give me a follow. Um, there'll be more tutorials like this coming soon, um, focused on UK bass music and bass line in particular. Um, big up everyone in Lengo land, you're all amazing, sickest group going. Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy. Thank you all very much.